More than 21,000 students in Nigeria are operating with fake certificates obtained from degree mills, institutions in Benin Republic, Togo and others. That's according to the Minister of Education, Tahir Maman. This disclosure is part of findings by the committee tasked with identifying the causes of degree racketeering, fish out the culprits and recommend solutions to the menace. TV 366 Sydney Okafo completes the story. The report of the panel comes on the back of an investigative report by a Nigerian journalist who procured a Bachelor of Science and degree in mass communication from a university in Benin Republic within six weeks and participated in one-year mandatory National Youth Service Corps without being detected by the authorities. The Nigerian government then suspended the evaluation and accreditation of degree certificate from the Republic of Benin and Togo pending the outcome of an investigation. And following from that investigation, 22,700 degree certificates obtained by Nigerians from the University in Bene and Togo have now been invalidated by the Nigerian government. So the fact that you, you went through a process, once there is no accreditation for that program, you don't have a fit in that particular program. And that's why even if it is if there's a new accreditation for your course and you read medicine, you don't have a certificate for that course. So the fact that there is no accreditation for those universities from their own country, and there is no recognition as a university for those courses from Nigeria um, University Commission, it then means that there is no process. They're not supposed to have gone for the course because there is no accreditation for the schools. Just like the minister said yesterday, you have three here, five here that we recognize. So if anybody goes outside those three and five in those two countries and you have obtained your distance, yes, legally you went through the process, but the school itself, did they go through legally through the process to be a school, process to be recognized, and a certificate to be recognized? If they did not go, then your effort is effort in futility. It does not yield any result. Education experts want the government to go beyond the ban and investigate the reasons Nigerians rush to these countries to obtain phony certificates. If our university system can run four years without any strike, worker salaries are being paid and there's no uh, industrial dispute between government and ASU or government and the ones in politics or the ones in the colleges of education, things will go well, the school calendar will run very, very well and everything will go. And if we now begin to make sure that um, uh, uh, all, all the all the policies on uh, having our technical schools running, having a better thing running, uh, our polytechnics, when they come out, they will also have some recognitions and then uh, they'll be able to sit in the places where they could also uh, see themselves as having gone to school. And every other thing, uh, the reward of everybody is almost on the same par, uh, not the kind of uh, some people working so hard and having no reward, other people. People will not run to go and quickly get it so that I'll just go and use it and do politics and then go and uh, become a, 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 a senator or, or house of prep or governor or whatever and then make large money. Then once we bring all those things back and everything is working well, I'm too sure it will reduce if we can accommodate too many and the educational system is running very, very smoothly. There are also growing calls for the government to probe allegations of degree racketeering in private universities operating in Nigeria as part of effort to sanitize the tertiary education system. Sydney Okafor, TV360, Lagos.